Welcome everyone! In today's video, I would like to discuss a certain topic regarding time saving, and that is teleportation. Whether you want to farm old dungeons, raids, or rares in older zones, you still have to travel there. Or do you? I want to discuss one of my personal favorites, as well as some other gadgets useful to save you your travel time. Without any further ado, let's get right to it. Let us start with a pretty simple one, and that is Hearthstone. Hearthstone is the very first item in your inventory, but did you know that you don't need it and save one space in your backpack? Yep, I have deleted my Hearthstone a long time ago and never needed it since. You see, there are toys that serve the same purpose and share the cooldown with Hearthstone. There are many of these, so you can choose which one you like or which one is the easiest to get. Then there are two other Hearthstones, the Dalaran Hearthstone and Garrison Hearthstone. To get these, you have to complete the introductory campaign of either Legion or Warlords of Draenor. The quests to start either of these can be found on the Heroes Call board in Stormwind or Orgrimmar. The next gadgets are the wormhole generators, which are available only for engineers. These are very useful if you have an alt for which you don't care about their professions. There's a lot of wormholes, most of which require you just to learn engineering for their respective expansion. However, Northrend, Classic and Outland wormholes require 40 in Northrend engineering, 260 in Classic plus choosing either Goblin or Gnomish engineering, and 50 in Outland engineering. I personally chose Goblin to be able to teleport to Netherstorm and Winterspring, since there are no portals close to these zones. When it comes to the Shadowlands and Dragonfly wormholes, they require you to do something additional to gain access to more locations to teleport to. For the Shadowlands wormhole, you can get an additional zone to teleport to, and that is the Zereth Mortis. To be able to access it, you have to get the Enlightened Broker Supplies, which you get by earning 10,000 reputation after being exalted with the Enlightened. Then you have roughly 4% chance to get an item called Enlightened Portal Research, which will add Zereth Mortis to your wormhole options. For Dragonflight, you have to click on multiple signal transmitters in each zone. Once you clicked every transmitter, you will get access to all of the zones from Dragonflight, except Emerald Dream, which is there by default. I should also mention that every wormhole are purchasable on the auction house. The next gadget is called the Ilag Windstone Fragment, which you can simply buy from Ilag camps in the Onaran Plains. To get this, you first need to be a renowned 11 with the Maruk Centaur and complete a quest called Whistling Rocks, which is just a campaign quest. Once you have done it and have the Ilag camps unlocked, you can buy the item from the renowned Quartermaster of the Maruk Centaur for 50 Dragon Isle supplies. One downside to this is that it is an item and not a toy, which means that it will take up one space in your inventory. The next item on our list is the Ultra Safe Transporter, Mechagon, which you can get through the Junkyard Tinkering. But first, you need to obtain the recipe for it. The recipe drops from a rare called Gear Checker Cogstar and will almost never be up. You have to spawn it by killing upgraded sentries across Mechagon. Each killed sentry has a chance of triggering a voice line, which will cause the rare to spawn. Why would you want to go to Mechagon? Well, there are plenty of rares that drop pets, transmogs, mounts, as well as the Mechagon Mega Dungeon, which also can drop two mounts. The next item we are about to discuss is the Ring of Kering Tor. This one is pretty simple, you go to the Northrend version of Dalaran, to the jewel crafting shop and purchase it. It might be a bit expensive, but if you're farming for example the Ice Crown Citadel for the Invincible, you might find a good use for it. The next gadget is the Argent Crusader's Tabard, which will teleport you to the Argent Tournament. You might find a good use for this item if you are farming Old War or just by doing the Argent Tournament dailies for the mounts or pets. It will cost you 50 champion seals, but I believe it is worth it. If not, you'll at least get the cool tabard appearance. The next item we are going to talk about is the Dire Bruise Remote. This item, once used, will teleport you to the Grim Guzzler. Where is that? Well, it's the Blackrock Depths Dungeon. 
you can get the Dire Bruce remote only during Brewfest. To get it, you have to queue up for the Grim Guzzler Daily Dungeon, which is like the Horseman during Halloween or the Crown Chemical Co. during The Love is in the Air. Why would you want to get this? Well, for some transmogs or to farm the Dark Iron Booties. These sell for quite a nice amount of gold, or you can use them to buy a pet called Topaz Bobble Worm from Oribos, but you'll need another two pieces. The next way to teleport around the world is through the Hero's Path portals. This will teleport you to the entrance of a dungeon you have completed on at least Mythic plus 10 difficulty. These are a bit harder to get, but are worth it and are now account bound. So once you clear a certain dungeon on your main, the teleport will be accessible on your alts as well. The next item, or should I say items, in line are the guild cloaks. These are also pretty simple, you go to the guild vendor in either Stormwind or Orgrimmar and purchase the cloaks. They don't share cooldown, meaning that once you use one, you can still use the next two. The cloaks are called the Shroud of Cooperation, the Wrap of Unity and the Cloak of Coordination. Each of these require a guild achievement to be purchasable, but the achievements aren't that hard, so most of the guilds should have it. These cloaks will teleport you to either Stormwind or Orgrimmar, depending on your faction. And the last item, or should I say spell, is the Mole Machine Racial Spell for the Dark Iron Dwarves. Once used, you get an option to choose where you want to teleport to. This item is like a wormhole, but on steroids. For me, I don't have all the options unlocked. You see, there are many mole machines scattered throughout the world. Once you find one, the location of where you found it will be added to your mole machine, allowing you to teleport to the spot. There's 20 different spots where you can find the mole machines, and I will leave a wowhead link to them in the description below. And well, that's it for the video. Are there any teleportation gadgets I have missed? Let me know in the comments. Hope this video helped you in any shape or form, and if so, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button with your raging glow. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later!